Hi everyone. I just wanted to make a video and kind of let you know what's going on in my end of the world. Some of you know, um, some of you may not know, I'm actually currently in the Czech Republic. I was performing, well, rehearsing to perform Die Tote Stadt, um, which is a really beautiful German romantic opera here at the National Moravian Salesian Theater in Ostrava, Czech Republic, which is actually on the border of Czech Republic in Poland. Um, and the borders closed here and the borders on the surrounding countries closed before our production was canceled. So I'm actually currently stuck in the Czech Republic, but very comfortably so. The theater has me continuing to stay in the apartment until all of this blows over and I can either get to my home in Slovakia or if this goes on much longer, I may have to be repatriated back to the US or Canada, um, but we'll just take it one step at a time. I'm perfectly fine, happy, healthy, and just enjoying. I wanted to kind of show you my view every day. This is the courthouse right out here, and I get to look out from the window. I'll open the window so you all can kind of see what this looks like. You see that down there? There's a tram. It's very empty. So we are actually in, sorry, that was loud. We are actually in um, mandatory quarantine. And what that means is we are only allowed out for either um, food like groceries or medicine. And we have police checking. And also when we go out, we have to wear a face mask um, or we get fined. So it's pretty drastic here, but it's very necessary. And I think Czech Republic and Slovakia have low numbers so far. So they're trying to keep things under control. Unfortunately, a bordering town here, a very small town called Olomouc, is already, um, the hospital is at capacity and having a very hard time. So it's really sad because although the numbers may look low, it doesn't represent the intensity of the situation. Um, anyways, I hope wherever you are that you're healthy and kind of making use of some of this downtime. I know this is a very, very tough time for people, not only with the stress and the health scares and all of this, but this is a tough time economically, and we're going to have to all pull together what ways, what ways that we can um, to help each other through this. I, I'm not sure what the future looks like in terms of that, but... Um, I'm not an economist. I'm a singer and a voice teacher, so I'm not going to theorize. Um, anyways, I wanted to sort of reach out to you and give you a little ray of sunshine. And so I thought I would send you a song. And this is actually one of my favorite songs. It's from a musical, The Sound of Music. And probably most of you know of it. And this song represents a lot of hope in a very tumultuous and uh, uncertain time. The Von Trapp family sings this at various intervals in the musical, kind of representing that um, hope is still alive, even though things look very bleak. So this is Edelweiss. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, Morning, you greet me, small and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me, blossom of snow, may you bloom and grow. Bless my home.